Beware. We do not know how far the taint of the arch enemy spreads. <laughs> For the Emperor, hello and welcome to a new video today about Warhammer 40k bolt gun which came out yesterday on Steam and on all consoles. Before we start with the game itself I want to talk about a bit how I got attracted to the Warhammer universe and how it all started back in the day. My first contact with the universe uh, were in the 90s when the board game Star Quest came out, um, also known as Space Crusade in the rest of the world, but in Germany it was actually called Star Quest. Produced until 1993 from 1990 on, and if you want to buy the game today, you have to pay a lot of money for it. If I remember it right, we didn't really know how to operate the game correctly. So so we played with the miniatures and uh, painted them, not very accurate and good, of course. Uh, also, we crushed the figures uh, from time to time because we were playing with it. It's a pity nowadays, and especially when I look at the prices from the original board game I owned. But that's it, we had a lot of fun with it and that actually was the start into the Warhammer universe, especially the 40k universe. Then I got introduced in the Space Hulk series. Uh, I missed the board game actually, but I was extremely impressed by the Amiga version of Space Hulk in the PC version. And I'm still impressed, especially compared to the games I was playing in these days. For example, most of it were Super Nintendo games and you all know the look and how they work and then this came out here. <laughs> Dark Angel Chapter! Deathwing Company! Warhammer universe and games like these um, heavily inspired my own um, taste of art. For example, I drawed a lot when I was a kid and a teenager. I got really uh, inspired by these motifs and I drawed actually real space marines but I didn't found the pictures anymore. I think the art design of the Warhammer universe is one of the best out there. So since this time I was addicted by the art style and everything that comes from the Warhammer universe. Uh, not the tabletop um, because it wasn't very popular in Germany back then but the art design, all the games th uh, which came out, I played almost all of them and highly recommend a lot of them, especially the RTS games. Of 
So when I heard about Bolt Gun I was very excited for this game and because I'm not only a fan to the Warhammer universe but also very interested in boomer shooters, retro made first person shooters like Doom Quake, Unreal and so on. So I needed to buy this game because it's a very good combination of both topics. And I think this is the perfect spot to promote and recommend somebody I met a few weeks ago. It's somebody from Sweden and I highly recommend his channel and he specialized on so-called boomer shooters. So if you are interested in games like Bolt Gun, games like this, I highly recommend to check out his channel. The information to his channel and everything else I will link down below in the text. With that information set and shared, I want to go on with Bolt Gun. Bolt Gun came out yesterday. I highly recommend this game to all Space Marine fans, especially the Ultramarines. And if you like fast-paced first-person shooters, you will get very happy with this one. Actually, this one is the fastest Space Marine I've ever seen. And I have to admit, Bolt Gun is the first game I have to uh, get rid of the head bobbing. Uh, I never had trouble in any shooter and I play a lot of shooters, AAA or indie game. But in this game I don't felt very comfortable playing it so I had to turn it off. You can also put on some filters, retro filters, and you can play around how you want to play this game. Um, the pixelated look looks extremely good on a screenshot, but not in the moving pictures. But herefore you can go for your personal preferences. The game has four difficulties, uh, which differs from each other, of course, and I have to admit, for my skill, um, medium was quite okay. It starts very slow, but it raises the bar uh, very soon, and the enemies are quite tough from time to time. So I will definitely try to beat this on very hard, of course, but I, I guess I will get some trouble doing that. But that's what I like in these games. I've played with an expert. Series X controller and I have to say um, the configuration is quite okay but not perfect. I guess with mouse and keyboard it may be better to play with but I'm addicted to controller. I also love the rumble feature and so I will stay with the controller. I also encountered a little bug in the menu so when I wanted to change something there was one point in the menu I only could navigate with the mouse and not with the controller. Everything else is working fine with the gamepad. My trouble until now is the configuration with the mouse sensitivity with your sticks and your layout on the controller actually. So I hope they will fix it because you only can turn down or up the sensitivity and it feels a bit weird with the gamepad. But maybe I have to check it out. And I saw if I go to toggle sprint mode it's much better to play. It's the same I tried out in Prodeus and I highly recommend to use this feature. There are 24 levels divided in three chapters, uh, each chapter with eight missions and I think that's quite a lot because the missions getting bigger from time to time. You start with a small intro map and then they uh, grow and grow and you have a lot of playtime in the levels depending on your skill and the difficulty you choose. The price for the game about 20 bucks it's more than fair in my opinion. You get a lot of gameplay, you get a lot of good graphics and awesome sound and I think for that this price is perfectly set from the developers. So with these information spoken out I want to go on with the pure gameplay and some action and I want you to enjoy this without my voice and without talking and just enjoy the gameplay with very good graphics and sound and of course a lots of gore and absolutely carnage. The final words enough talk and for the Emperor. <laughs>
Blood Corporate Branches. <laughs> <laughs>